Hey, what's up guys? This is the Killer Jin. Basically, um, I'm going to show you guys uh, my first coding tutorial. And I'm going to cover uh, like stuff like mining, like how you create a mining event. And um, unfortunately, um, on the internet, whenever you find it will look up like mining events in RPG Maker, uh, you find, you know, people have examples and whatever, and they're just awful. Every single one of them, well, at least all the ones I've seen, 99.9% .9 of them show you how to program mining or fishing or digging or cutting down trees or whatever very poorly either they do parallel events parallel events are just awful don't i mean it's last resort and everyone just loves to use them and it's a really bad idea and they also like to use global events for these and it's awful and i'll actually show you through examples so i'm gonna show you the way they show you and, and i'll show you why it's bad and then I'll show you a better way to do it. So here we go. So this is a new um, project. I just created it. I'm basically going to uh, first I have to alter the tile set. So I'm going to go to the map here, change it to the outside tile set. Then I'm going to go to database and then I'm going to hmm, outside. So this is nice, but it looks like I need some mining stuff at least make it look half decent while I'm showing you guys. So I think it's like uh, maybe dungeon. Yeah, this is the mining stuff. So these are the graphics that I need. Um, so I'm gonna use that. So here we go, new event, awesome. I'm gonna make the new, the ore, the, the vein, the ore vein. So new, I'm gonna call this a uh, vein. Yeah. Um, so this is how most people do it. So you're gonna make a new page. Let um, me see here. So I guess on the first one, I'll create it. The the so the vein so that you can see it. Uh, D yeah, I'll add a D. Let's use this one. Looks nice. Um, and then it's when it's just you know it's destroyed. I basically use the same thing, but I'll just make it look like that. Or whatever. So basically, it's gonna be destroyed when you when you click on it. So it's gonna use self switch A. That's how we do things in here, like I said. So then it's, you know, all this is true initially. This would be false, but until you hit it or use it oh, below characters, this will be um, same as characters. And when you hit it, self switch or turn A, uh, turn on, it will turn on and there. Then we're gonna give ourselves, I don't know, something. Um, I don't know, let's say you give yourself a potion, one potion, nice. Potions are good. Then we're basically going to say, you got a potion, you received a potion. Awesome. So you received a potion, cool, you got one, so I'll switch A, it's on, I don't know, I like to put them at the bottom, and then there you go, it's destroyed. So this, no, this is basically the basics of it, um, they show you. And you know something more, but I'm gonna stop. I'll start here. Basically, gonna run it real quick for you. So your typical mining. You touch it, you get something. Wow, yay! So see that? No, that's not. <laughs> that's not why. What they show you online that that's so bad. No, this is what they do online. That's so bad. What they do is they make you want. They say, oh yeah, use a a global variable to keep track of how many times you can hit this. Ugh, awful. So let's 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 do that. Let's um let's just make a global variable. This is a bad thing. Don't use global variables, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna show you why. So basically, um call it vein one. Um so we're gonna subtract one from vein one. So we're gonna start at zero because the, the game um the uh sets all variables to zero when you first play it. So instead of just giving the numbers or putting the numbers up to five and then counting down it's gonna you know basically assume it's zero so I'll make them count down to negative five so then let's do a conditional branch that will look at the variable and if it's less than like negative five what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna turn self switch on so self switch is on and basically that's it. Um, it's pretty simple. 
uh, you know, I mean, you can do something clever with what it gives you or nothing. You can do a random if you really want to, but I'm not going to go over that today. I'm just going to go over why it's overall bad. So here you go. You use a variable, and this is what they teach you, basically more or less. You have a stupid counter, a variable global, and you just hit it five times, and boom, it's gone. See, I mean, first glance, it seems like, okay, well, that doesn't seem so bad. It's awful, guys. It is awful. And let me count the ways. Basically, okay, you have one. And in your game, you're going to have way more than one. I mean, any decent sized game should at least have like 50 or more of these things. So basically, you're going to be using up a global variable every for every single one. So if I'm going to use a global variable, I'm going to have to just name this one now. Wait, well, okay, well, watch. Because basically, I'm going to be like, okay, well, I want more of these. Okay, well, let me put one here. I'm going to stop at three because more than three is going to be really obnoxious. Then it's like, okay, well, see, they're all using the same, they're just copies of themselves. So they're just using the same variable. So now I can say, okay, this one's one, right? But this one, now that I'm using global variables, is looking at vein one, this one has to be updated to two. That's like, okay, then, okay, I have to use, I have three, so let me start creating them now. Annoying. Vein two. Awesome. Vein three. There you go. But I'm, this one's two, so I'm gonna go to two and say okay. Then I'm gonna say okay. But then it has to strike vein two. There you go. Awesome. And then of course, look at there's a third one over here. Let me update this one. Uh, oh my god, this is get old super fast, guys. Like seriously, why are we doing this? We're basically eating up our global variables. They're finite too. You can't waste them all just on stupid freaking ore veins. No wonder why most people don't put a ton of them in their games. You know, if you have to sit here, imagine a map, right? This is just one map, so it's not so bad. But imagine you have like a big game and you have like four or five maps and you have like a hundred of these things. Are you seriously going to document which one is one, which one is two? You can see it down there. See, this is vein two. This is three. And you're going to like seriously like put them down and then document them and then basically use up all those variables. But then what happens if you're like, you know what? I, I want to delete some. I'm going to delete this one. Then suddenly, if you start deleting big quantities, a lot large quantities of these things, then you're gonna have like big holes. You might you're gonna be missing like I don't know 11 through 13. You might be missing 31, 45, and believe me, it gets ugly really fast. When people learn how to do this this way, they're like, well, it makes perfect sense why people don't like to put these kind of things in their games because it's monotonous and tedious and really really bad. This is bad programming. Don't do it. Um. Oh, I deleted the last one, but I mean, it will work, obviously. I mean, um, let me just show you. And again, just because it works doesn't mean it's a good way to do it, my guys. Like online, they always show you how to do these things. And it's always done poorly. This is very, this is done very poorly. The idea, the execution is awful. So what's the immediate way? What's like intermediate way? What's the intermediate way to get this done? What's the better way? Easy. Again, do not use global variables at all do not do it so I was like okay then how do you do that well let me teach you so I'm gonna teach you the intermediate way so what you're gonna do is um, okay so you have this so what we can do is you're gonna use the pages see how this is pages this is within the local event one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just use the pages instead so it, it it's smarter so let me just delete this Okay, so you have this, and then you don't even need this anymore. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of, you're gonna cut, you're gonna delete, you're gonna delete, and then you're just gonna paste. Boom. Then you're gonna copy and paste, and then you make this one a, and then you're gonna tell this to go to b. Then you know copy paste then you gotta go this to B and then you're gonna turn this to C Then you're gonna copy paste and then you're gonna turn to this to C and then you're gonna turn this to D because D is actually the last one however then you're gonna put new and then you're gonna do D and then you're just gonna uh, 
um, make this, you know, the last one. I mean, not the last one. I mean, had, I mean technically, yeah, the last page where it's just gone. So it's gone. Below character, everything looks fine, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that, guys. Gorgeous. Done. And again, I mean, the only bad side of this is that you have a, you can now only get a maximum of four. I mean, that's something that's something I'm willing to do. Even though the downside, the other way with global variables, yes, you can you can actually say how how many times you can hit it. That's the upside. But again, using all your variables, tracking them, and everything is just awful. So then this way, the mo the, the most you can get is four potions, and it's gone. But it's like okay, well only four well I'm willing to trade that's the trade off because basically if I sit here and then I make a whole ton of these things anywhere I want all willy nilly don't you know don't have a care in the world boom 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 I can go on forever I'll put these on any map just copy paste copy paste and it'll be there and guess what it's done I don't have to mess with global variables anymore it's like boom it's just like just hammer the button gone beautiful this one Hammer the button, gone, beautiful, no global variables, loving it. This is the intermediate way to do it. This, um, I still, I mean, this is much better than global variables. This is just so much better. And again, 99% of the online tutorials show you to use global, do not do it. It's, it's good It's good to show, like, like do quick tutorials as if you're gonna make like a really small game. But if you're gonna make any half decent sized game, absolutely awful because then you're gonna have mining variables using you're gonna have mining using up mad global variables you're gonna have fishing using up global variables and you're basically gonna have no variables for anything else like are you serious so this way there's no global variables copy paste all day long so this is the intermediate way to do it and you know what I'm actually gonna um, hold off on my super advanced way I have a super advanced way to do this that is so much better than even this you get both strengths. You get the strength of being able to dictate how many times someone can hit something. You can do it randomly how many times. Like you can say like, you know, randomly choose between, you know, seven and 10 hits or five or 10 hits on, on ore and randomly give anything you want from nothing to gems to ores to anything you want. And the advanced way allows you to do that, but also, um, basically you have to use global variables, but what you do is you, make them local variables and you only use one so one all mining everywhere will use one variable and i'll show you how that's possible and it is so much better than this as well that's the advanced technique that i've never seen anyone show anyone on youtube anywhere so i will show you the most advanced techniques to creating things like mining fishing cutting down trees and all that and you can make hundreds and hundreds of these things of each each one of them gonna you can have hundreds everywhere and you only use you know one global variable that's it well for each you have one for mining one for fishing one for you know everything else so you just need one global for all of them and I'll reveal that secret in the next uh, tutorial but again I guess what you, you take from this is stop using global variables for simple things like mining and crap and fishing and and digging Oh, cutting down trees because that's it's just silly it's just awful programming and that's why people don't usually program these kind of things in big games and opera d maker because basically it's tedious and i'm showing you how to remove that tediousness um and then i'll show you like the you know the gem the programming gem that shows you the most advanced way and again you just have to see my next video for that one so anyways thanks guys i hope um you know i helped you in some way please um, leave a comment or anything like that or hey, any suggestions, you know, the next thing, I mean, I'm programming um, Killer Jin, my video game. Uh, you can go check it out, www.killerjin.com. It's coming to October 2017. Again, killerjin.com. Um, and I have re really cool stuff in that. I have like lighting systems, weather and all that. I can show you guys how I do that as well. And I use advanced coding techniques. And um, anyways, leave comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and, and suggestions and maybe I can cover whatever you want next and uh, thank you for watching oh and basically I I, I specialize in using events to code uh, you know I, I'll kind of I won't do the JavaScript on here because that would be even way more tedious to do than this anyway <laughs> thanks again guys bye